What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are experiencing the PTR Season 7 for Diablo 4, uh, just a few days prior to Path of Vile, Path of Vile, Path of Exile 2 Early Access launch. So we're going to check out this new uh, this new stuff coming to Season 7. So now, right now we're going to be checking out the Witchcraft powers. We've been gifted with these powers of the Witchcraft and we can uh, equip them in our Witchcraft tab of our inventory. Now there's a lot of these powers now... I do want to mention that this is basically the exact same thing as Season 2 with the Vampiric Powers, um, but instead it's Witch Powers. So, we got these. Uh, upgrade our Witchcraft Powers in our inventory by pressing F on the power and using Upgrading Power spends our Retless Rot, which we'll get from doing the Helltide. And then Retless Rot drops from the Head Rotten Enemies found in the Head Hunts, which is in the, the new Helltides, which you guys can see. Um, let me claim all this. Just to get it out of the way. Because we just did a power boost. But the new Hell Tides, which are green, which is very similar to the Vampiric Tides. So we will be checking those out in a second. Let me go ahead and grab a bunch of this loot here. Um, just to kind of get it out of the way. It's just a bunch of uniques. Nothing to worry about here, okay? A um, bunch of cool stuff. So in here, under the Abilities tab, we got Skills Paragon. Um... And then down here under the equipment tab, we have witchcraft. So this is where we can access our witchcraft powers. So this is what's going to be here in season seven, which I think is cool. We got five select powers with like an ultimate power. So just to kind of showcase how this works, everything starts at level one, of course, but then you can just slide powers in. You notice how like I can't put this here. We can't put that one there, right? So these are just kind of like your basic powers. And then you have your ult ultimate or unique witch powers, which can go in here. But these ones cannot be selected in here. So you got four different unique powers and a crap ton of other powers. Now, I do like that each of them are highlighted with the like corresponding like kind of theme, right? So you got like Eldritch, then you have Growth and Decay slash Summon, right? And then you got another one, which is just Witch Power straight up. And then you got the Stars, which are Aura and Psych. So these are really cool. And then each of your ultimates, you have one of each type. So you got each one, each of the four different um, types there. So you can mix and match these however you want. So if I wanted to come in here, we can just throw these in here like this. And then we can pick a, a power and just kind of throw these in here and boom. These are all your vampiric powers. Now to upgrade these, you will have to get a resource from the headhunts over in the... Um, in the Helltide, which we will go just throw something on real quick. Let me uh, let me just do... Well, we can't do Firebolt now. That's all changed. Let's go ahead and go grab Arclash uh, with Glinting. That seems fine. We'll go ahead and grab uh, Fireball because Fireball is fantastic. Um, we'll grab Teleport. We'll grab this with that. And then we'll grab like a Shield. Um, we have a bunch of points, but I just want to kind of showcase a little bit of this. So we will come over here to this Helltide just so you can kind of see how to level these up um yes so it's uh we're gonna see how this goes um le but leveling up is very very easy you see this little pig we got like or toad so we're gonna come over here um we're gonna look for for some monsters here whoop zoom in zoom out so you can see that like i have a toad from my powers my vampiric or excuse me my witch powers so we're gonna we're gonna be looking for all these different types of monsters to to get right so you can see the restless the restless rot that we just got that is what you're looking for and you can tell that the monsters are restless lot because they're highlighted so you can see that apparently I can pick that pick that restless rot up but they are highlighted so when you come into your materials um, your currency tab, you can see red list rot. We got 5,000 because we did the full upgrade, but that's, this is where you're going to get it from is all the monsters were max. You can see monsters that are, um, like corrupted and have the red list rot. You see that they're highlighted purple here. All these ones that are highlighted purple are going to be the ones that are restless rotting corpses that can drop the, that material. So once you have the material, like we did the boost. So we have 5,000 of it. So now what I can do is I can come in here and let's say I wanted the vengeful spirit or the buff to one of these, like out of rank five, right? We can press F to upgrade and you can see that the power cost is 100. 
So if I wanted to upgrade this, it's 100, then 150 for the next stage. So that's 250, 450 for level three, and then uh, five, six, 700 total to go to five. So it's 700 total to take any, or at least a unique um, witch power to max rank. And it, of course, increases the buffs here. Now, if we take another one, this one's a little bit less. It costs 25, 40, 40. So that's 80. That's 105. Another 40 is 145. So it costs 145 to take it to five. However, there is 20 ranks. So you're going to be able to rank these powers up really, really high. They're going to be very strong, and they're going to help your character out a lot. Now, I don't necessarily know which ones are the absolute best, depending on what build that you're actually playing. But this is how you're going to upgrade them and equip them. And, guys, you can mix and match and really put a lot of cool stuff together to, like, make your build super strong. So now that I'm not maxed out at 5,000 um, 5, Restless Rot, let's go ahead and fight another monster. And let's see if we can go ahead and get some more. I do like the fire bats that come down and just attack these guys. That's super cool. Um, teleport's working now, which is fantastic. And you can see that we're like bits and berries. So we got some more restless rotting monsters here. So you see plus three, plus three restless rot. So you're going to be able to rack this up a lot. You know what I mean? So it just seems the, the grind for it's going to be really fun, really easy, I hope. So you're just going to be playing a lot of time inside these uh these hell tides here so yeah guys these are how the witch powers work it's um it's pretty pretty easy pretty straightforward um for these powers and um again like i, I don't want to like harp on it too much there's a lot of very interesting powers um a lot of very interesting powers for the for the witch powers i think it is cool that we are getting a witch power mechanic back however this is a complete like mimic copy paste of season two um blood powers like it's it's an exact copy um it's a copy paste you know and i hate to be so critical about it because you know i have got some comments about this and it's really cool that we are getting powers back and they're finally giving us an actual theme however we do need to be critical and not just give them oh hey thank you so much I mean, this is an exact copy-paste of Season 2, which is arguably their best season. Um, so it's great that we're getting this stuff back. I just wish they would have went about it a different way. Uh, that's my only, like, critique to it. But it is cool that we have so many different powers to pick from. So, guys, in order to unlock all of your witch powers, um, you're going to come over here to the Tree of Whispers, and you're going to have three different altars where um, Altar of the Psych, which will unlock your Psych Witchcrafts, then the uh, Eldritch one, and then as well as the Growth and Decay. So this is where you'll come to unlock all of your vampiric powers, or vampiric, your witch powers. You will have to exchange your restless, your restless rot in order to do that. Um, it's saying there's no more items left to purchase because we have them all. So you'll be farming inside the Hell Tide, or inside the Witch Tide, uh, in order to rack up enough of the restless rot to go purchase whichever ones that you guys actually want so the powers are pretty cool i think they're very unique and very it's going to make some for some very interesting builds in season seven um again i just wish they would have went about it a different way but yeah guys these are the the witch craft powers there's a bunch here that really do a lot of cool stuff but yeah these are how they work this is how you unlock them this is how you level them up and it works with the Hell Tides. So we're going to do another video talking more in depth about Hell Tides and the new changes to the Coven, which is the Tree of Whispers, which we'll talk about in another video. So yeah, guys, like, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the Witch Powers. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I will answer all of them down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.